Hello everyone, welcome to Budget Scenery Workshop. Uh, today I am working on a very large dungeon tile. So this is 5 inches by 19. It's uh, very large, I just wanted to work on something you know, pretty substantial. And as you can see I've got a whole bunch more here. But this one, I want it to be kind of like Havley's as kind of toxic pools. So what I'm going to do is get my little sculpting tool here, dig them out, then pour in some resin, I think, with a little, a little drop or two of coloured ink. Then tomorrow I'm getting the new issue of Mortal Realms, and I believe that issue comes with skulls. So I might add a few toothpicks, then drill a hole through the skulls and attach them to the toothpicks. So yeah, just make them look really interesting and dangerous looking. Okay, and that's what I'm going to be working on today. So don't forget to hit that subscribe button if you are not subscribed already. Don't forget the notification bell. And if you would like to support the channel, check out the benefits of becoming a supporter on Patreon. At certain tiers, you can actually vote to see what content I put out. Okay, guys, let's crack on. Hello, everyone. I hope you're all keeping well. So, the first thing I did was just cut out the um, shapes with a sculpting tool, just so I'd have something to pour the resin into. Then I just gave it all a good coat with my... PVA and black paint. I've, I've long, long run out of Mod Podge and this is a reasonably decent alternative. And this is the first time I've actually got out my um, airbrush. I just can sort of see at the start my dog found it fascinating. <laughs> it is quite loud. And um, yeah, this, this step was completely unnecessary. But um, yeah, after spraying it grey. I then sprayed purple into what were going to be the acid pools. Then I just went over that with a light grey. But as you'll see when it comes to the um, resin pouring, these two steps were just completely unnecessary. Um, but yeah, I'm happy with it either way. So this stuff I'm using is just a very simple one-to-one -one mixture. So basically whatever you put in on of part A, just make sure you put the exact same of part B. And um, I could see it, now it's, um, now I'm watching it back, I could actually see it was already changing colour, so I'm thinking the mixing pot that I was um, mixing it in wasn't entirely clean. You can see me adding purple there, You'll notice when it comes to pouring it, it goes kind of orange. Now, I'm not saying I was un unhappy with the final result, but yeah. Obviously, I added um, p purple ink because I wanted the acid pools to be, you know, purple. But I guess, you know, it turned out well either way. Uh, the only thing you'll see at the end the um when I went right up to the edges that was kind of a fail but that was a mistake on my part and I explain it so yeah I make all these mistakes so you guys don't have to and as you can see if you uh, pour the resin from a height it just eliminates um the bubbles or eliminates the as much bubbles as you can then I just dry brushed on a lighter shade of grey brought out all the awesome detail then after my first black wash I thought eh, it wasn't really dark enough so I give it a second black wash and here is the final result so there we go folks um, I decided against adding any like, skulls or any any details like that to the 
these little toxic pools. I think it looked pretty cool the way it is. Um, I have no idea why it came out orange. But still, looks pretty cool anyway. Um, the one step I probably would have just missed out if I knew is I would have not bothered uh, painting underneath these pools. But, yeah, the overall effect ended up pretty good. I'm glad with my use of the airbrush. Um, for the sides, I did experience a bit of leakage, as you can see. But that's because when it was actually this side, um, I did cover this side up. And I glued it in place, but obviously I missed a couple of places, so it wasn't very securely glued. So, if you were to try this, what I'd suggest is don't go to the edges, <laughs> just don't bother. But if you want to and you want to risk it, use hot glue and use. Um, that kind of packing plastic you get on um, like toys and stuff. Just cut it to shape and hot glue it on. Then on the side, press it down firmly so it's securely in place and perhaps test it with something before adding your your resin, like test it with like, I don't know, just a little bit of water, see if anything drips out. Then obviously you just wait for it to dry fully then just, if it doesn't drip out, you're good. But yeah, if you don't want to go through all that effort, just don't go up to the edges. I just thought it'd look cool. And the other thing I'm happy with is the fact that I double washed this with my black wash. Um, I'm not saying it's a bad wash, it's just homemade. And yeah, it brought out the detail a lot better than I expected. Anyway, just let me know in the comments what you think. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up. And if you would like to support the channel, you can do so via Patreon. At certain tiers, you will actually get to vote on what content you see. Okay guys, thanks for watching. I will see you next time. Bye for now.